Pow! What's good, everybody, man? It's your boy, Kenny Child. We back with another video, man. If you knew, you already know what to do. Be sure to go click that subscribe button right now because, hey, man, we got it. <laughs> Come on, man. Talk to us. Talk to us. Lakers up 3-1, man. Hey, if you a Laker fan, Laker Nation, you know this is a big deal for us, man. Ah, finally, since the bubble, we are looking good, ladies and gentlemen, man. Hey, like I said, be sure to go subscribe to the channel. So I'm just geeked up making this video right now. Um, this was an amazing performance, overall team performance, you guys. Um... Man, I, I, I'm just super excited. Uh, let, let's just get into the details. Lakers are up 3-1 in the series against the Memphis Grizzlies. They had a phenomenal game last night. Um, you know, we're just going to go to the stats with the Lakers. AD, I know he kind of had a bad game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't... Something about AD, you guys, I don't know, man. It's like one game, he'll have a phenomenal MVP game. And then he'll have a game where he looks like just a role player bro i don't understand what his mentality is like he needs to just be more consistent um what is I don't, I don't know what it is man comment down below what you guys think it is but it's honestly bugging me he had 12 points last night 11 rebounds four blocks he's been you know he's been doing great for us uh in the defensive category so you know i can't knock on him but we need a a 20 point game from ad bro at least at least because if we get 20 points from ad 20 points from Braun and everyone, you know, all, all the role players getting 15, 17. Bro, we are dominant, man. But, you know, when AD struggles, we kind of struggle. So, um, you know, Jerry Vanderbilt had a great game. I think uh, I think he had 12 points in the first quarter, man. Shout out to my boy Vando. Uh, LeBron had a game for the ages, 20, 20, 22 points, 20 rebounds, three, two blocks. I'm sorry, two blocks. Um, 15 defensive rebounds. LeBron had a great game. He also uh, sent it to overtime. Um, D'Angelo Russell came to life. Finally, another good game from him. 17 points. He had three clutch threes down the stretch. Uh, Austin Reeves has always been playing phenomenal. 23 points, four rebounds, six assists. Um, man, the Lakers are just the Lakers are just looking looking phenomenal. You know, looking phenomenal. Um, Dennis Schroeder had 12 points. Troy Brown, actually, he still need to hit a three-pointer. Snoop Dogg's been on his ass, but, um, you know, we'll take the six points from him. Ryu had a decent game, seven points, whatever. Malik Beasley finally hit, hit, hit a three. And, uh, you know, on the Memphis Grizzlies side, Jaron Jackson had a pretty good game, 14 points, 14 rebounds, five blocks. Defense player of the year, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to my boy, Triple J. Uh, Xavier Tillman had a... A uh, pretty pretty cool game. 12 points. Um, eight rebounds. Nothing too crazy. Dylan Brooks, the villain. Uh, you know, we're gonna get into that segment later down this video, but eleven points, five rebounds. Uh pfft. John Morant, 19 points, seven assists. He had a terrible shooting performance, eight from twenty-four. And Desmond Bain, the the top scorer of the game, thirty-six points. Nothing, seven rebounds, and that's about it, man. Uh, you know, he shot three from 12 from the three-point line, which is pretty bad. Ja was one from six. He didn't have that that juice he had uh, at the end of game three in the fourth quarter where he dropped 20, 20, 22 points straight. Um, I don't know if it was straight, but dropped 20, 20, 22 points in the fourth quarter. Uh, but, yeah, the Grizzlies actually had the lead. Uh, like I said, uh, there was a breakdown. J J Triple J blocks Ryu, Rui Hachimura. Uh, they get a fast break. Jaw travels. Okay. The refs didn't call it because we don't call travels no more in the NBA. But Jaw travels and uh, throws a behind the back pass to Dylan Brooke, uh, uh, to um, Desmond Bain for the layup. Uh, Memphis Grizzlies up by two. I think it would believe. I think it was seven seconds, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, somewhere around there. LeBron goes down the lane, does a high layup over a contested Xavier Tillman and a contested, a weak side help 
Uh, contested shot from Jaron Jackson, which he almost blocked, man. So uh, shout out to LeBron for just putting the perfect amount of touch on that layup. Um, but yeah, man, Lakers winning overtime. Wow, just an amazing win. Like I said, we're up 3-1 in the series, you guys. This is a... Man, they got it! <laughs> Give us another round of applause, bro. This this is the team I've been wanting, man, for the longest time, bro. Just not even like a bunch of superstars. Just a bunch of role players that fit LeBron, man. Because, look, we're not going to get a lot of LeBron left, man. I think he got maybe one or two years. So, we got to appreciate this. We got to... He got to get a ring before he, 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 it's it's time, bro, you know? Um, and something I love about this team, you guys, they all are playing for LeBron. I heard something about a reporter saying, uh, you know, after game two that the team felt, the team felt that like they almost lost for LeBron. You know what I'm saying? They lost for their leader, bro. And when you got a team that's gelled and glued like that, man, that, that just goes a long way on the court, bro. You know what I'm saying? They, they all playing as a unit. And I think this is this is a championship team. Now, keep in mind, obviously, we still got a long ways ahead of us. Uh, we got to get through, you know, either the Kings or the Warriors. And then we got to get either through the, the Suns. And it looks like the Nuggets are going to win that series, man. So, you know, and then we got to go to the East. But, you know, that, that that's not a lot. We're going to enjoy this moment. We're going to save this moment, man. Um, You know, we're going to clap it up. But, yeah, the Lakers are looking great. I love them right now. They're a team. They're a unit. They're playing together. And, man, there's just nothing else more I can say other than I love my Lakers right now, bro. Um. Lastly, we're going to get into it. Like I said, LeBron, or sorry, second to last, LeBron had an amazing game, 20 points, 20 rebounds. I think he, they, um, that was the first Laker and the first player in his age, 38, by the way, uh, to ever do that in the playoffs, man. So um, I wouldn't say, I don't think it was the first ever Laker. I feel like a Laker's done that before. Uh, but uh, yeah, first ever player at his age to do that. And let's be honest, man. We got we got to just say this, and uh, we got to get the elephant out the room. LeBron is probably the greatest player to ever play the game, man. And I'm not even trying to lee ride him right now. Um, I'm a Kobe Bryant fan. I grew up watching Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant was my favorite player of all time. Okay, all time. I still love Kobe till this day. But we got to appreciate what LeBron is doing at his age, bro. He is 38, okay? He's 38 putting up these kind of numbers, bro. It, it, it's insane, okay? Like it, It's actually insane what he's doing at his age, um, all-time scoring leader. He is he's great, the greatest player of all time. That's just what it is, the greatest player of all time. Um, nothing else to be said. Other than that, bro, comment down below what you guys think of that, man. We just got to appreciate the greatness while we can, and we're witnessing it right now in the 2023 playoffs. Um, last but not least, we're going to just uh, get into it right here, man. This dude, Dylan Brooks, you guys, I think Dylan Brooks is done. You know, I'm watching game four. He's checked out. Uh, he's not doing his usual antics. Um he looks very checked out. He looks done. Uh, he looks mentally defeated. I mean, I'm mean, i not trying to be bash on Dylan Brooks. I think I think Dylan Brooks is actually a funny basketball player, bro. Like, he's entertaining as hell, you know? Uh, I like that kind of energy. It's funny. But there's just certain bears you don't poke, and LeBron is one of them bears you don't poke, okay? He's just one of them bears you don't poke. You just leave it alone. It's like messing with Drake, man. You, don't, you just don't mess with Drake. As big as you are, as pop as you are, you just you you just can't. It's like it, it's almost just gonna backfire you at the end of the day. And I look at Dylan Brooks after the whole LeBron incident. LeBron had that confrontation in front of him on Game Three, and it just looks like Dylan Brooks is. It, I don't know. His time might be up in Memphis, ladies and gentlemen. Dylan Brooks's time might be up in Memphis. I, you know, they got Kenny Lofton Jr. Uh, they got David Rodney. They got a lot of uh, players similar to Dylan Brooks that shoot a l even a little better than Dylan Brooks um, and play, you know, just as physical as defense. But we'll see. Dylan Brooks is not a bad player. He just needs to low-key, you know, just keep his mouth shut. I ain't going to lie. Keep his mouth shut. 
Um, comment down below what you guys think, man. Another round of applause to my Lakers and Laker Nation, man. Let's close out the series. I believe it's on Thursday. Let's close out the series and um, let's hope we run into the Warriors, man. I want that smoke with the Warriors. I ain't gonna lie. I'm rooting for the Kings, but a LeBron Curry playoff series would be phenomenal again, man. Be sure to go subscribe to the channel. Like I said, other than that, man, your boy's out this thing. Peace.